Hi. 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 Okay. That's it. I'm resorting to other means. I'm not going to be nice anymore. Okay, so there's this very weird e-girl in K-Girls, and I don't even know how to describe her. She's like the definition of a crazy schizo, I have every single mental disorder person. And for some reason she's obsessed with me, or at least pretends she's obsessed with me, it's weird either way. And I hate her for it. So today we are going to show you this very weird fan fiction that she read out for, I think, about 15 minutes while we were all in a VC on Cake House 5th birthday. You know, the best scene ever. I'm not being nice anymore to you, Calculus. I'm going with more extreme measures. The dim light of the moon sneaked into the house through small slits in the curtains. And the loud yells of an almost dead person filled the house. They were getting dragged by their foot by a short, ginger-haired dude with a death-proof hat and skull shirt. Link, I got your din din, he shouted, <laughs> followed by the sound of aggressive and fast footsteps. In the flash, the yell stopped as teeth sunk into their flesh. Blood came from the wound, click quickly sucked back up by Link. Kneeling over the body, he dug into his dinner. The delicious scent of a struggle kept Link attached to the body. Every wound marked a fight they were losing, and the ones made by Link were the final blow. Have it I need slide. a pill! Devour. Excuse you. Very interruptive during story time. Habit let out a slight chuckle as he sees Link devour the body like a rabid dog. What an appreciative little guy. As Link began to get much more rough with his bites, blood was beginning to get everywhere, making a mess out of a freshly cleaned floor. Aw, oh, Bunny, you made a mess. <laughs> Disappeared rapidly from the corpse. Habit grabbed Link's tear and forced him up. To that, Link quickly turned around and bit Habit. He growled as he ripped Link off of him. Link? It's not like it was that much of a problem for Habit. He'd bite harder when Habit was on him. But right now, it should be Habit punishing him for ruining his damn fucking floor. Link let out a small whine as his eyes watered a bit. Looking down since, you know, Habit is like- Bunny, you made a mess! I thought you said you wouldn't this time! Link looked away, snarling under his breath. Habit tugged on Link's hair. The sudden stimulation caused a slight moan to escape his lips. Habit chuckled. Hmm, I guess the punishment is necessary for this, right? Link smiled at Habit's suggestion. Oh no, I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. Habit picked up Link, his legs wrapped around Habit. He effortlessly carried him over to his room. He quickly ran onto his bed, using Link as a landing. Now on top of Link, Habit got a nice look at his face. There wasn't any fear, no need, but there was desire, lust, and or horniness. No, Habit God, kissed please, Link no. as he tugged at Link's pants. He took off Link's belts, which took about 30 seconds or so, and pulled down his shorts <laughs> to the knee, restricting a nice amount Dude, of Dude, now like, didn't you say you're leaving for the night? Here's no, he wants to hear story. my story. It's Link a good smirked as he let out a it's slight giggle. Oh no, sir. Don't don't be too rough with little old me. He opened Link's legs and got between them. Then he gently placed his hand upon Link's Bruh. causing Link's Bruh. to twitch with excitement. Fuck. Habit gently <laughs> squirm a bit and brought him to panting. Habit brought more of his weight onto Link as he began quickly rubbing Link's Yes, this is my sexual fantasy until you say hi to me. Link let out a loud moan as he squirmed. His back arched as his loud sounds of love filled Habit's ears. Such a nice tune. He This is why mom doesn't fucking love you! 
happy, Habit smirked at the soft moan that came from Link. He began to unbutton his pants. Link trembled with pure excitement, impatient for his punishment. Now, Bunny, do you think I'll reward you just like that? You've got to prove it to me. Prove you want it. Oh, yes, they are both guys. What? What do you want me to do? Link was a little confused, but still excited. <laughs> Habit got off of Link quickly under the bed and grabbed an axe. He got back up onto Link. You know what I want you to do, Bunny. Link to look at him, his face turning redder. He quickly swiped the axe. Habit backed away as Link took a big swing to his thigh. The gash quickly began to bleed, the stinging pleasure hitting Link quickly. Habit gently placed his hands on the wound. Oh, Bunny, you'll have to do more than just that. Link gripped his axe harder as he made swings and slashes all over his legs, some deeper than the others. Habit snatched the axe from his hands and pushed Link down. He took a large swing to his stomach. Link let out a loud moan as the blade went through his insides. The wound was thin. <laughs> Habit turned the axe to its handle and shoved it into the wound, moving it all around. Link let out loud moans and whines as his insides got destroyed by his axe. Soon, Habit pulled it out and began chopping at Link's torso. Link's Link arched his back once again as the influx of pure ecstasy and pleasure filled his brain. His torso was yes, he does. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. For the Bible takes hands. What? What are you doing? Scars and fresh cuts adorned where the gloves were. He chuckled as he took the axe and chopped one of the scarves. Uh, Hab! With every scar, Habit slammed the axe on Link's arms. Turning scars turning into fresh wounds. All this without my permission. Pleasuring yourself by mutilating yourself. I'll do it for you. Link blushed as Hab continued attacking his arm. After this, promise you won't wear those silly gloves. I want to see what I've done to you. Link nodded, his vision starting to blur. Habit took notice of Link beginning to seem lightheaded. He stopped his chopping and gently placed a loving hand on his cheek. If you want to rest, feel free to. I hope you're asleep knowing I'm giving you all the love you need me to. Oh, I wouldn't dare. I want to be there while you ruin me. Well then... Yo, what the fuck? Habit throws Link's arm back, spitting on it before finally taking his pants off. Link trembled as he waited for him to enter his- I am currently hitting the gritty for Ukraine. Join our Discord server now and let's hit the gritty for your country together. Look, Bo is already hitting the gritty for the UK. Be like Bo, click the link in the bio now. He was coming from being torn apart made him satisfied and happy. As Habit thrusted deeper and faster reaching every place that seemed to make Link go damn near wild, Link hugged Habit a little harder. He wrapped his arms around Link as well. For a moment, it was just their body heat together. Then it went back to being the more intimate. He knew they were both nearing their- We're just doing our little part to make sure that our products do not aid in harming environments like this one here, where animals live and thrive, and they worked- There's an endangered species right there. I'm just reading some of my favorite fanfiction. made Link's stomach fill with butterflies. He savored every feeling. He zoned out, only snapping back as he arched his back and reached his climax. Noticing his vision getting blurrier. Soon, Habit finally- Yes, I do have a gay porn fetish. Until you say hi to me. He quickly grabbed his axe and shoved it into Link. The sudden insertion made Link let out a small squeak. His why? Why, oh God, fucking why? More stimulation. If, if you wanna. Link didn't know what to suspect, but he was prepared. Habit quickly grabbed his pants and dug into his pockets. He pulled out a lighter. Whoa. Whoa. Habit unbuttoned Link's jacket, taking it off. He gently teased Link's nipples as he let out soft and small moans. He began, he grabbed his lighter and began teasing his nipples with it, the flames making him feel so much warmer there. Habit flicked the flame off and reached into his pants and pulled out a cigarette. Want one? Link hesitantly nodded, smiling nervously. He took the cigarette as Habit lit it. He took a puff and coughed out the smoke. He handed the cigarette back to him, looking away. 
You done? Yeah, but aren't those for after? But before he could finish, Habit quickly put the cigarette out on one of Link's nipples. He let out a moan of shock and pleasure. He began panting more, his eyes beginning to water a bit. Habit only giggled as he- <laughs> Look at his face as he put the cigarette out on Link's other nipple. Link once again moaned loudly, tears beginning to leak from his eyes. Link could feel his vision becoming more blurry as he finally passed out. Habit giggled and got off of Link, laying down next to him. He kissed Link's neck before, before turning the other way and enjoying the feeling of a possibly dead Link next to him. Isn't that so cute? Yes, yes. Calculus, how about you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's no such. <laughs> Men can only rape women. I can't rape you. So, I'll take all the pain. You can do it. You can do it. You can inflict pain upon me, Calculus. <gasps> yes, you can. Yes, you can. <sighs> come on, Calculus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't much like the tone of your voice. Calculus, Calculus, Calculus. <gasps> You say you like girls. Yes, cute cows. I know you like boys. Trey likes boys too. I'm sure calculus like boys. Don't you calculus? A Stellan? Is a Stellan in this Discord? Hey, what was that for? Before I was a cheater, I looked up to a Stellan. But then a Stellan killed me, and I thought he was legit. And then he called me bad. And no, Cake House, you have to tell me why. Why is a Stellan not here? I need to know. Fucking hate myself. <gasps> no. I can actually <laughs> talk now. Now that she's. Wait a minute, I saw that calculus was talking. Suddenly, I don't hang myself anymore. I was not talking. Right, everyone, I was not talking. We we're gonna tell her that I was not talking. My mic is muted on Discord. She'll never notice. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. I just don't want to talk to her. She's so weird. I lost <laughs> several brain cells during that story. At least five million total. Gigi Ben, how many did you lose? <laughs> it seems about right. Yeah, me too, bro. But at least you guys haven't dated her for like three years. You dated her for three years? Oh no! <laughs> by the way, no, I, I by the way, I recorded all of that. And no, I, I'm, I still am. We're still dating. No, I, I literally, I literally, uh, what was that? I recorded the entire thing. <laughs> you recorded the story? Yeah, I recorded the story. Why? What are you saving it for later? That's crazy. Well, I was already recording before that, but she just started telling the story while I was recording, so... I was gonna use that story for later, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna, like, upload it to YouTube. After doing some, like, heavy editing to get rid of all of the <laughs> stuff that they'll take the video down for. 
Well, actually, they won't take it down, but I, I don't want it to get pushed behind that stupid You have to be 18 to watch this video rule. Like, that thing sucks. Yes, keep going. Oh, I heard your <laughs> voice. She joined, <laughs> she, she joined back on an old. She joined back on an old. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You didn't know it was <laughs> me. You didn't know. <laughs> yeah, push it back to VC1. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out, Dalek. Yeah, have a great night, Dalek. She's totally gonna <laughs> buy this, guys. She's totally gonna buy this. Calculus. Calculus. <laughs> All right, yeah. By uh, the time I go to bed, I'm fucking exhausted, bro. Oculus. Yeah, have a good night, Cal. Oculus. Feliz Navidad. I lost at least 10 million brain cells in just that last encounter. Um, and I now hate myself 5% more than I did before, so now I hate myself about 2%. It's pretty nice. I'm getting it. I'm just gonna stop recording now. <laughs>